Hi, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build your own wood bed frame. Now this bed frame is designed to be easy to build, easy to customize in different mattress sizes. It's designed to be very durable and very strong, so it'll last a long time. You can paint it or stain it any color of your choice. And it's also got some features like it's easy to make the bed since the bed floats on top of the frame and it's easy to add a headboard. We designed this bed hoping for a permanent solution for things like Airbnbs where you want durability and you want longevity, but we love it so much it could work in a home as well. Let's get into the build. I want this bed to be durable and beautiful and lasts a long time. So I'm using four by fours for the legs. All the materials for this bed, including the four by fours are available at most any hardware store. I recommend cutting with a chop saw or miter saw like I'm doing. You'll need a 10 inch to cut the four by fours. If you can't, you can also use a circular saw to make the cuts. For the four by fours, you would need to double cut, meaning you would cut on one side and then flip it over and cut the other to finish the cut. Having good straight cuts is very important to the overall outcome of your bed. I'm using pocket hole joinery because it's hidden and it's very strong. The new Craig Jig auto adjusts so um, you don't have to adjust it for different thicknesses of material. This takes a lot of the guesswork out of building a project like this. For assembly, I set the first two by six board up on some one by scrap pieces and then I used pocket hole screws in the two and a half inch length to attach to the legs. I'm building a queen size bed and it got a little bit big for my workbench so I had to move to the floor. Just make sure you're working on a very level spot in your garage as you know garage floors usually slope towards a drain. Again I'm just blocking up the two by six up on the four by four leg to give me that you know that little bit of an inset. Now this looks really easy in the video, but it was actually pretty physically intensive because I'm working with Douglas fir, everything's very heavy and I'm using two and a half inch long screws. Um, it would be really nice to have a second person if you can to make building this bed a little bit easier. This is a queen size and um, it, it probably would have been fine without a center support, but again, I'm building this to last forever. So I'm gonna put those extra little touches in to make it strong and sturdy. So the center support goes, goes in the middle. You could actually use a two by four here too to save a little bit on lumber. I put a center leg in as well, just to take some of the weight off of the four outer legs. Now I'm gonna start trimming out the top. So this is what's going to uh, finish off the top edges and also conceal the mattress slats. I'm using one by twos here. I just measured and cut them to fit and set them in place and glued and nailed them. I'm using one and a quarter inch brad nails. Notice that once the one by two frame is done, there is a three quarter inch lip left on the inside. This is something that we can use to put our bed slats on in later steps. To strengthen up this bed in the corners, I'm gonna add some 45 degree bevel two by fours. So basically just bevel both ends of the two by four at a 45 degree using your miter saw. And all this in the cut list, so don't worry about writing it down. You can download all of it for free. It's an easy to use format that is adapted for different bed sizes. So I just cut four of the corner supports. and don't cut small pieces. Make sure that you're using a nice big piece, especially when you're um, doing a bevel cut like this. It's just not worth uh, risking injury. Okay, so I got my corner pieces cut and I'm just gonna screw them in. I did six screws here, two into the middle um, and then two on the outsides. 
So the bed actually didn't really need these corner supports, but I just felt like, why not? I already have the materials on hand, just the scrap two by fours, you know, six extra screws, and we could get a lot more longevity out of this bed. Once the uh, frame is done, I can start adding the slats. So all I'm doing is taking whatever scrap one by thickness material I have in the garage. Some of it is plywood pieces, some is one by twos, and just laying it right on top of that lip that's still exposed. I nailed all of the slats down with one and a quarter inch brad nails. Now I'm going to stain. So I chose this ebony color because there's a lot of really light wood in the cabin that it's going and I thought it would be a nice contrast. But this bed could be stained in just about any color and it can also be painted. It is solid wood so it is a blank canvas for you to do whatever you want with it. Okay, the bed's all done. We somehow got it moved up into the room. If you are building this bed for a tight space of a couple of flights or a king size, which is really hard to move around, I'm gonna recommend that you pre-finish the exposed pieces and then bring it all into the room and assemble it into the room because um, it does get heavy and it does get cumbersome trying to make tight corners. Pleased with how this turned out. We're excited to share the plans. We know that this is going to be a favorite because it's you know gonna last it's easy to make it's durable and it's so easy to customize and it looks awesome so the free plans are linked in the description below go ahead and download those please share a photo if you build we love seeing your photos thanks again we'll see you next week